a reaction to the cinematic trailer of Oddworld Soulstorm shown by Lauren Lanning during the Unity Keystone speech at the Game Developers Conference 2019 was overwhelmingly positive. I don't need to express enough how much it was liked by almost everyone. However, there were a few criticisms that some people had of the trailer that it might be worth taking a look at. The first major one was the camera effect throughout the trailer. I'll be honest, I didn't even notice it at first and it doesn't really bother me that much, but people pointed out that there's dust on the lens as though it was an actual camera filming the scene. More importantly, these dust particles remain on screen for the entire time in the exact same places, not moving at all. Personally, as I said, I don't see this as a big issue as I didn't even notice it until it was pointed out, but I can see why it may be perceived as being annoying. The next criticism is the facial expressions of in particular Toby. I mean this one is pretty fair in my opinion, it looks kind of like Toby is turned up to 200% facial expressions or something, he seems to be able to defy the laws of physics and expand his head quite a bit to the point I'm surprised his eyes don't fall out of their sockets. I guess this is hardly a major criticism and is only majorly noticeable if you pause on specific points, but it just makes it look kind of weird I guess. It was less noticeable on Alf I think, but there's still points where you can see it even on him I'd say. Speaking of defined physics, I've heard a criticism, albeit less so, that ALF seems to lack weight or something when moving around a train. I, mean, I guess I kind of get what they're saying, but I don't really think it's hugely noticeable. The final two criticisms I've heard revolve around the shot of Soulstorm Brewery. Firstly is one that I don't think I've heard anyone else mention actually, but it's simply one that I had the first time I watched the trailer, and that's that the shot, to me, looks as though they just took the picture of Soulstorm Brewery they'd previously released and cut out the brewery itself and inserted it into the shot. That's what it looks like to me and I guess there's nothing wrong with that, it just makes it look weird I guess. I mean, I'm not expecting them to make an entire 3D model or something for just that 2 second shot and they've probably done the 2D thing a lot before in their games. But when you look back to even the opening shot of Rupture Farms in Abe's Odyssey, literally the first thing you see in the Oddworld franchise, not at any stage does it look 2D, even though they probably used a lot of elements of 2D in that shot. So to me it's interesting that I instantly saw that shot of Soulstorm Brewery and it just looked so 2D to me. The final criticism, or point rather, backs up the previous criticism's idea that it is simply a shot of Soulstorm Brewery cut from the image we've already seen. It's the fact that the surrounding area Area around a building looks nothing like what we've seen previously in the previous image. Now naturally those were very early images so they might have simply decided to change it but also another counter reaction I've heard to this is that the buildings and landscape in the original image are hidden by that sandstorm. Pretty much all the criticisms we've taken a look at here are pretty minor aesthetic problems that are hardly noticeable. Most of them I didn't even pick up on at first until it was mentioned. So I really think there's really not much to worry about in terms of this scene at least regarding Oddworld Soulstorm, especially considering the overwhelmingly positive reaction that they had to this in-game cutscene. Hello, follow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 